Hey guys, welcome to PE tip number 40 and today's tip is don't jerk off. Okay, um, I want to I wanna clarify something. If you guys are doing an edging routine to increase your stamina, this that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, that is its own separate um, exercise. That's its own separate thing. I'm talking about when you're using the bath mate, when you're joking, when you're... Um, using the size genetic extender when you're doing any of that um, don't jerk off um, six hours before or six hours after okay that and that I know that seems like a big window but there it is um, and I want to give you guys three reasons three um, why you should not do this okay so beforehand um, let's just talk about the bath mate beforehand um, if you jerk off there's a good chance your penis will be fatigued and you will not be able to do as well as a good pump um, with the um, with the bath mate. Also, I have done it before, guys, like long ago, and it, it doesn't feel good. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it just doesn't feel good. Like, it just feels weird. Okay, that's, that's the best way I can describe it. I don't like the sensation of it, um, so I would not recommend doing it before. I know I've read this... I don't remember where I read this, but I know some guys do it before stretching exercises because it apparently helps you be a little bit more la elastic. If you want to try that, okay, fine. But in terms of uh, girth exercises, I would not, um, I would not recommend you masturbate before doing joking, um, before or doing the bath, mate, guys. Okay, six hours prior to that. Okay. Um, so that's reason number one. Okay, reason number two. Um, Usually, when you masturbate um, afterwards, the blood goes back into the body. Um, this is counterproductive to what the bath mate is trying to do, which is get blood into the penis. So you do not want to do that. Um, so um, you'll get turtling and this and that. Don't don't do it, guys. Um, I know some people now. I, now, what happens? What about like sex? Again, that's different. That's not, that's not, you're not doing it, um, you're not doing the bath mate session as a PE thing, you're doing it as a sex toy, that is completely different guys, that is 100% different, that is not in the same, um, the same realm of what I'm talking about, so, um, if you, like, so basically what I'm saying guys, if, 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 if you're using the bath mate as a toy with a partner, that is one thing, if you're doing it to help you possibly increase your size um, then I would not do it six hours before or six hours um, after the bath mate session or the joking session I right, guess because um, again it will cause blood the blood to retract into your body which is counterproductive this is not what you're trying to achieve uh, the last reason guys the third reason um, I would not do it is um, Boy, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I think a lot of people use masturbation as a um, kind of like an addiction, like alcohol or like like they with porn, of course. But they like like they do it with like you know like how there's sugar addicts and there's alcoholics and then there's porn addicts and add any word food addicts, whatever you want to add. I think this is just a, a could be for some people another form of it. And I am very anti-addiction, um, so. I don't, I do not, if this is something you are doing because you're addicted to it or um, you're using it to numb out a pain or you want to do this because you don't want to go talk to the opposite sex, I would recommend not doing this, okay? Don't, don't become a jerk off fiend and that's all, that's all you do all day or that's, that's what you think about all day. Um, so like I said guys, if, if you're doing edging, that is, that is a completely is again that is a completely different mindset because you are like okay I am trying to increase my stamina right does it, if you are just jerking off because you like the feel of it that is I'm looking for pleasure and one is I'm looking to improve myself it is not the same mindset okay so that's that's one two if you're using like the bath mate as like a sex toy and you're using it right before the set um, you encounter the girl Again, that's not the same thing as doing it every day or every other day 
to, to see what changes it might bring to your body. That's not the same thing. Okay. Um, context is everything, guys. Um, so, in conclusion, in review, don't do it six hours before your PE session. Don't do it six hours after your PE session. And really have a, I would say, a healthy mindset to this stuff, guys. Like I said, I'm not saying never jerk off ever again in your life. That, that's not what I'm saying. I am saying you, you just need to understand are you, are you doing it because you're addicted or you're trying to numb out some pain because you don't want to handle something in your life? Not good. Um, I don't know what else to say on that, guys. That That's my feeling on this. Um, I actually was asked this uh, question by somebody, so that's kind of what brought this up. And I thought about it, and that's really my view on this whole thing. So PE-wise, don't do it six hours before or six hours after. And mentally-wise, I, I, I don't think, like I said, I, I, I don't think people should become addicted to it or use it as a numbing device or a numb, an activity to numb out pain, okay? that That's basically where I'm at with it. So that's my advice for the day, guys, uh, and I will see you all for the next PE tip.